Hey guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see um, what is going on with you guys in love, what your blocks and challenges are in love, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, uh, if there's any new love coming in for you guys. So apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored uh, specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about single cancers. What's going on with single cancers? For September 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What are single cancers, blocks, and challenges in love right now? We have the four of wands. We have the six of pentacles. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune here and the Four of Cups. I do believe that you guys are definitely looking for love here. It's kind of like you guys are waiting for it, like to see when it's coming in for you guys. I mean, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like I feel like it's important for you to sort of like, okay, put it out there into universe and allow the universe in supporting you and bringing this new love in your life. But I feel like if you're constantly thinking about it and wondering about it, you know, you're kind of like in this energy of chasing it. You know, obviously when you are chasing it, it runs from you, right? So I feel like it's just important for you guys to sort of like do other things here and take your mind off it. Uh, we have the Four of Cups here and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and also the Two of Wands here. <clears throat> Another thing is that, you know, I do feel like some guys could be in some sort of situationship where you're dealing with someone here that is dealing with other options. And you could be in this energy of like waiting for this person to make a decision on you here. You know, and I feel like you're being asked to sort of like not put your eggs in, all into one basket and just kind of like put things into perspective that, you know, there's 8 billion people on the planet who are bound to find, find someone else that you have a strong soul tie here with. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you have to also, you know, maybe learn that, you know, settling for less than what you deserve, you know, means that you are settling, settling for less and that you don't believe that you deserve more here. You know, uh, we have the hangman here. So there is some sort of situation here that you might be in that you're having a hard time letting go of. You know, I feel like you're trying to shower this person with love. I feel like you're trying to shower this person with presence here. But some here is just non-committal here. The wheel of fortune. Page of swords. I feel like, you know, I do feel like someone here has to work on letting someone go here because I also feel like someone here is also religiously spying on someone all the time to see what they're doing here. The Four of Cups and the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups. It's kind of like also like, okay, the person that I'm dealing with here, when is this person going to realize that, you know, I'm the one for them? You know, if this person hasn't realized it, I mean, chances are this person's not going to realize it until it's too late. But also you can't just, you know, just stop your life for somebody, you know, stop living just so that you could have this relationship. 
Um, but you know, I do feel like someone here is just really hung up on somebody here and someone here just, you know, is not really quite ready to let this go or end things with this person here. Okay. Uh, we have the death card here, Scorpio energy and the two of wands. You know, I also feel like the longer that you put yourself in this position, the more that you will continue to suffer. Right. So let's see what else we have here for single cancers. What else does single cancers need to know? Is there any new love coming in for single cancers? for September 2024. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single cancers. So we have the Knight of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Page of Cups and the Five of Swords. Page of Cups, Five of Swords, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have the Hermit card here and the Five of Cups. Moving forward, I do feel like you will slowly try and move on from this here and start releasing this person, um, distancing yourself from them, introspecting, self-reflecting here. Because at this point, the longer that you stay in the situation, it's sort of like a bit of a lost cause here because it's also not really going anywhere. Knight of Pentacles. And the eight of seven of pentacles. Tell me the six of swords. And we have the four of swords. Okay. Page of cups. And the king of cups. Five of swords. And also we have the king of wands. Okay. This could be a same-sex couple. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be here. But I feel like someone here is holding out for hope that someone here will choose you. Yeah, I, you know, here's the thing, Cancer. I really, I you know, for this situation here, I wouldn't put all my eggs into one basket here because I don't really see this changing. You know, and you know, one of the things that's also important to know if this person really truly wanted to be with you. If this person truly, really cared about you and really, truly loved you, this person wouldn't put you through this. You know, that's not really love. It's more like manipulation, you know, and games and stuff like that. Um, tell me about uh, in control. Let's talk about the Hermit card. Six of Cups, yeah. Five of Cups. And the Empress. I do feel like as you go through this here, Cancer, I do feel like you will level up here. Yeah, you will level up here. You're going through like a middle of some sort of like, you know, spiritual level up here. And I feel like a part of it was going through this experience with this individual and coming to some sort of major realizations and epiphanies here. Okay, what else do we have here for? Cancer. And we have the Eight of Swords. Ten of Swords here. Yeah, I feel like you're f feeling hurt and betrayed by this person. So you got to ask yourself, do you want to be with someone here that betrays you and hurts you? Seems like it's happening over and over and over again. Another thing is like, I feel like this person also can't give you what you want, but also they can't let you go. They keep you around for a specific reason because I feel like, you know, I feel like this person is just using you or that this person's a user here. Yeah, this person's just a user. Yeah, like I said, I want to put all my eggs into one basket here because I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, I do feel like you're destined to find somebody else better here. Not at this very moment because I feel like you have to let this person go in order for you to make room for this new person to come into your life. Okay, so Gem uh, not Gemini Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.